Hi folks, Max from GalaxyNote2Root.com. Um, also, for this week's ROM of the Week, I would like for you guys to check out uh, the the latest Paranoid Android ROM. Uh, I'm running the latest version. If you have an AT&T, uh, T-Mobile, or GTN 7105, uh, you can get this ported version 3.60, uh, which is really nice, as you can see here which comes with the latest Halo uh, floating notifications, uh, which comes with a ton of improvements. And also, if you do have a Verizon, um, sorry, not Verizon, if you have a Sprint version, also you can get the, uh, the previous version, which is nearly identical. It works just fine. Um, I've got it on here. So for Sprint, you can get the 3.57. I've all, there is also a Verizon version that's 3.57. I've tried it and it's not working correctly for some reason. Um, so I don't recommend it at this point. But uh, if you have AT&T, GTN 7105 or T-Mobile, I've got my T-Mobile here. Um, go ahead and install the 3.6. And also if you have a uh, Sprint version, uh, Node 2, you can also install it there. Uh, but ve looking very nice. And also it is, a, I think it is available for, um, let me see here. GTN 7100, let me double check. Yes, it is available, um, the same version as this one. So you guys should all be able to get it. Now with the latest version, um, the biggest update is some of the Halo options, the Halo floating notifications. Let me show you a close up here what it is. Uh, basically, reverse Halo gestures. This allows you to um, basically double tap to move. Uh, your bar around all right also get rid of it very easily and also you can hit that button and it will come back and also now uh, what happens is that uh, when you get notifications you can kind of drag it um, to different things so uh, if you want to see your Twitter notification you can go there uh, Facebook um, your Gmail all of that good stuff and uh, let me go ahead and actually uh, respond to some of these here I'm sure in real time and that will go to my ads page here. Uh, and also, if you want to get rid of the notification, like my Gmail, um, you can just swipe up. And also, if you want to get rid of the uh, tap completely so it doesn't really interfere, go ahead and uh, pull down. All right, and now it will go to my Facebook. I don't know why it's going to my mobile Facebook. Uh, but there you go, you can go to different things here. Um, let's actually go to one of these. Um, yeah, there we go. It's, oops. Yeah. All right. And then you can go ahead and swipe up. And that will actually get rid of that notification. Uh, and also, I'm going to get rid of that uh, missed calls. That's my WordPress installation there. And also, if you have any messages, you'll also get there. So now I have zero notifications. Um, also, if you want to uh, you know, run your favorite apps, overlap it, you can download this Halo app from the Play Store. Go ahead and type Halo on the Play Store. And then um, you will be able to add your favorite applications here. Go ahead and add your favorite applications. I've added browser and YouTube here. Uh, and if you hit play, You'll be able to multitask, overlap uh, during any any app. So let's say you want to run YouTube on top of uh, whatever you're running, you should be able to do that and kind of multitask. And this will stay there, so you can always maybe you use an app a, a lot um, that will open up my browser. Uh, so it's a very interesting way. And the Halo notification, floating notifications, have been getting obviously very awesome. And if you want to turn those your apps off, simply go like that and swipe up and this will erase all your notifications. Anyway, check it out uh, if you want the latest 4.2.2 with the latest Halo uh, floating notifications, which is like the top of the line right now uh, for AOSP notifications. I think they've done a terrific job of upgrading um, different features and stuff. Uh, so definitely check it out. It is available for AT&T T-Mobile a Sprint, GTN 7105 and GTN 7100 and also Verizon but I tried the Verizon version uh, the 3.57 uh, it didn't work well but um, if it gets updated to 3.60 which it should I'll test it out and uh, just check my website um, 
I probably update it with the latest version if it's working well. Uh, otherwise, yeah, try it out for this week's AOSP ROM of the Week, available for many of you, many of your Note 2s. And uh, definitely, you know, this is like the bleeding edge of, you know, Android 4.2.2 with this floating notification, which I think will be uh, actually implemented into um, the, you know, the open the regular Android open source project so that would be really cool um, yeah that's about it so check it out and do let me know what you think and as always if you have a note too don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynote2root.com we update you once a week with ROM Louis tips hacks and more and also if you're on YouTube please hit that like button from here subscribe button down there and have a great week and I'll see you guys soon uh, stay high on Android uh.